Quantum Materials Corp is a nanotechnology company that was founded about 13 years ago, really focused on making quantum dots, which are atomic crystals, and being able to do so at high volume and a low price point. QMC is a very innovative company. We have a brilliant team of scientists and software engineers. Uh, now, our mission is to put the meaning and life to this molecule that we are creating via the use of our QMC platform. What I mean by this is bridging the uh, physical science with digital technology to offer cutting edge technologies to different industries out there. We've really uh, perfected the process of making quantum dots in high volume at a low price point. Um, through that process, we've also learned to manipulate those materials so that they can solve a lot of the world's problems. Um, that ranges everywhere from really efficient conversion of sunlight into energy um, to the, the biotech uh, industry where they're being used for very efficient markers, even to the COVID test kits where we're using them for amplification of the signal for testing for antibodies. As a nascent technology, quantum dots were able to supplant traditional fluorophores in durability, resistance to photo bleaching and blinking. Over time, quantum dots started dominating solar cell devices and this just further snowballed into research and development. Quantum dots are very, very uh, useful, indeed transformative, in that they can provide very, very high signal amplification to let us know that the diagnostic test has actually found a particular pathogen, such as the COVID virus. And this is important because it obviates the need for doing more traditional testing that involves biological amplification, which is much, much more complex. The quantum dots, in this sense, are very universal in nature. In other words, we can, in, in the in vitro diagnostics industry, we call this building out menu, meaning having a variety of tests that can be run on a universal platform. And this universal platform would be enabled by quantum dots. So we could test for all sorts of disease states, urinary tract infection, STDs, respiratory, a whole host of things. So Quantum Materials Corporation would have the ability to not simply do COVID testing, but to address many, many other common infectious diseases. The QMC platform is a cloud-based and blockchain-based platform that enables you to authenticate and validate users, products, and processes. What it does, it's extensible and highly scalable in the sense that we can always build additional product or application to solve real hard problems out there. Some example of the QMC platform. We have the QMC Health ID, which uh, record and report uh, COVID test. And then another example is the uh, entire counterfeiting, which enable you to tag using quantum dots, tag products and goods, so that you once, once you move these product from one point to another, you're able to track these products, so which build a trust between the different buyers, sellers, uh, manufacturers, and uh, distributors. We are already in the quantum age when quantum dots have the potential to become an all-pervasive and ubiquitous technology because they can replace conventional materials in applications such as electronic displays and also enable new applications such as high-fidelity anti-counterfeit tagins. I think the future for nanotechnology and nanomaterials in general is enormous. Um, I think Quantum Materials Corp can play a really pivotal role in that. Um, primarily because we've been able to uh, develop a process, a patented process for manufacturing quantum dots at high volume and a low price point, and at the same time really be able to enhance features that you can't do with a batch process. And we are not just simply a uh, nanotechnology company, but we are coupling the physical and the digital world. So with this platform, it will enable us to continuously adding more application for different problems as we go forward.